did you know that we spent well how, how long in our lives how how much time do you think we spend dreaming now when i first was asked that question when i first thought about this thing i i assumed that maybe we'd spend you know a few hundred hours dreaming right obviously we spend a lot longer sleeping but i thought maybe a few hundred hours dreaming turns out it's actually quite a lot more than that so Pause the video here, leave a comment letting me know how long you think we spend dreaming, right? Not sleeping, because that's different. I mean, I'm talking about dreaming. Um, now, the answer is actually very surprising. And when I heard this, it made me uh, it made me want to make this video just for, for everyone who's maybe a skeptic of lucid dreaming, anyone who doesn't really see the point, or maybe they just don't, they don't think it's a skill worth learning or investing money into or you know giving their attention so consider this right this this is this is what blew my mind we dream right no sorry we uh, let me start at the beginning we sleep for 20 to 25 years of our life roughly um which is obviously insane that's huge right that's a huge number assuming the average lifespan okay uh we dream for between 20 sometimes it's lower sometimes it's slightly more but tw about 20 years right dreaming uh, sleeping sorry we spend 20 years sleeping which is a huge amount a huge chunk of your life but more importantly the reason you came here is how long do you spend dreaming well you we know that we have during a, an average night's sleep we have several sleep cycles consisting of uh, five sleep stages okay the fifth stage is REM sleep but we can dream throughout most of the stages but it, our dreams tend to our dreams tend to be longest and most vivid during our REM sleep so we're just going to focus on how long we spend dreaming in REM sleep. And that number, that figure, right, for the average person is four years. Four years dreaming, right, solidly. Four consecutive, like, constant years of just of dreaming. Now, that might not sound like a long time to some of you. Obviously, it, I instantly understood that and realized, wow, that's actually a huge amount of time. Uh, but some people will be thinking, okay, well, four years, say if I live to be 90, for example, 90 or 100, four years is a relatively small uh, amount. But consider this, right? When you dream, your perception of time, like the, the way you experience time passing in a dream is hugely accelerated. You, you can experience what feels like an hour of time in, in a minute of a dream. And, you know, those of you who've been experimenting with lucid dreaming, those of you who well most of you right we've all had those dreams where we were woken up in the early hours of the morning right maybe there's a noise outside or maybe we just can't sleep we go back to sleep you know maybe we check our phone we check what time it is and say if it's like half four in the morning okay we go back to sleep and then a minute later we wake up again and we have this incredible vivid memory of this dream we've just had and you know intertwining storylines and complex plots and characters and and it's only been a few minutes a few minutes of dreaming um, and it feels like it's been hours. So our perception of time in a dream is massively subjective, right? You can you can feel like you've had a lifetime of adventures in just a few months of dreams. And that is what is very exciting to me. So when I say four years of dreams, that is an enormous length of time that most people, 90% of people, don't utilize to its full potential. The, meaning they don't Let's leave lucid dreaming aside for a second, okay? 90% of people don't even remember the dreams they have. So they might go to, you know, live to be 100 or 90 or even, let's say, 60, right? And they've had years of dreams, and most of those years of dreams have been forgotten before they've even woken up. And that's a huge, that's a huge amount of memories and experiences and things that you could have, that you could remember you know, or that you could have done, you could have experienced. For, there's no other way of saying it, really. But most people, they waste that, okay? They they either don't learn how to lucid dream or they just don't even learn how to remember their dreams in the first place. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, if you're at least mildly impressed with those figures, like I know I was, um, consider investing or learning how to lucid dream sooner rather than later, because that time is gonna pass anyway. You're gonna, no matter what you do, uh, unless you somehow become a cyborg and manage to not need sleep or something like that. You're going to be sleeping for 20 years. And of those 20 years, you're going to be dreaming for about three or four of them. You won't be able to remember every dream you have. That's just not realistic. But you, with practice, with practice, you can remember vastly more of your dreams 
than the average person. And it doesn't take much effort, to be honest. You just need to learn the right things uh, and practice them in the right way. So what I would say is if you if you want to take action now, if you want to learn this stuff, just start lo start looking online, start reading things like how to remember more of my dreams, how to lucid dream, uh, you know, how to just get more involved in the process. Start learning this stuff because it's not it's not that difficult. But when you consider like three or four years of, of consistent adventure and let's be honest, right, like I said, time dilation, um, that three or four years will actually, in reality, it will feel like 10, 15, maybe even 50 years if you learn how to remember your dreams in detail and if you if you learn how to lucid dream. It will feel like 50 years or more, okay? I already feel like I've had lifetimes of, of experiences and memories in my lucid dreams. And I've, you know, I'm only 25, like I've, I've still got most of my life to have more dreaming experiences and, and memories and things like this. So I would advise you to just start learning, start learning how to lucid dream, work on your dream recall. Um, and there's always a few comments that say this. If, if you think you can't, if you think you don't have any dreams, you are sadly wrong. You do, everyone dreams every night unless you have some sort of sleep disorder. Um, you know, most people dream every night. They just don't remember them. So really your problem is only learning how to remember your dreams that you're already having. So, I can offer you a few things from here. So if you want to learn how to remember your dreams, I do think I have uh, a few videos on that subject. If you check my channel, just type in dream recall or remember or something into the search bar and they should pop up. Um, you can also check my website, howtolucid.com. There are some articles on there about how to remember your dreams. Um, if you want my like highest quality te uh, tips, techniques, tutorials, or whatever, um, I have an ebook about how to remember your dreams, which is again on howtolucid.com. Uh, if you look at the, I'll put a link in the description actually, because the menu sometimes changes, but there'll be a link in the description to two things, which I think are really going to be helpful to you. First one is a dream recall ebook, which takes you through the steps and gets you unstuck, right? Most people are stuck in a rut where they just can't remember their dreams. They wake up and they, they can remember maybe a few details, but nothing else. I'm gonna get, the, the ebook that I'm suggesting will get you out of that rut and help you remember more dreams in just a few days, maybe in a few weeks. That's the first thing I'll, I'll link in the description. The second thing is at the bootcamp, the Lucid Dreaming Bootcamp, which for those who don't know, is a comprehensive course on Lucid Dreaming, which takes you, it's uh, very effective. I've worked, I've spent a lot of uh, time and effort on this. Takes you by the hand and explains what to do every single day for 30 days. If you follow the steps, you will Lucid Dream. That's a guarantee you can, uh, you can read testimonials, reviews, you just go, t type into Google uh, Lucid Dreaming Bootcamp Review and you will see several reviews, testimonials, stories, people's opinions, that sort of thing. That is what I would suggest to you guys. Of course there are lots of things you could read and learn, but I would suggest you start with those two things or just, just Google stuff, you know, just Google how to remember your dreams and, and see what you uh, can find there. But like I said guys, come on four years of your life solidly dreaming that is a lot of time to be having incredible adventures to make to be making amazing memories and this stuff comes back with you into waking life it really does like you might you might be thinking well i could just play a video game or something it's not the same you have to be there you have to be in the moment as the character and until virtual reality you know steps up its game and improves the uh, immersion factor lucid dreaming is the the best form of escapism and not even just escapism, it's just the best way of experiencing things that you otherwise might not be able to experience. And it's so realistic and so vivid and so intense that those memories really do feel like they're real when you bring them back to waking life. So go and get started guys, get excited about this stuff and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel were supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.